an extraordinary meeting of the East African Community Member Heads of States on the 30th of November 1999 in Kenya offered a platform for the revival of the social, economic and political cooperation of the regional grouping. The community had disintegrated in the 1970s. But within this relatively short period, I think it's moved extremely fast. Um, we have a customs union which uh, beginning 2005 has, uh, is now in operation uh, and this year we are moving into a new phase of that uh, customs union with East Africa turning into a single customs territory, uh, meaning that the free movement of goods uh, and, in f and, and finance to some extent uh, is, is, is being uh, facilitated. Um, we have a common market protocol which began implementation in 2010. Uh, we have seen success in there in the free movement of, uh, of people and I wish to commend the partner states that have moved, uh, especially over the last six, eight months. Among the key tenants of the East African community are the customs union, the common market, monetary union and political federation. There's been a lot of work and harmonization in the financial sector. Financial sector integration, the pensions people, capital markets, uh, the banks, central banks, we now have an East African payment system which has been rolled out, is being rolled out this year so that traders and business people can carry out their businesses in their local currency in East Africa irrespective of where they're doing that business from. Reinforced by the current broad market for goods and services, improved labor force movement and rising incomes of the population, this is the outlook of the East African community. Surface area inclusive water is at 1.82 square kilometers. Population of the region is estimated at 135.4 million people, while GDP is estimated at $84.7 billion. GDP per capita stands at 700 and 32 United States dollars. Although we have a, a customs union, we have been operating five different customs territories. And now we want to move together and operate one customs territory. And again, this was approved by the summit and is being operationalized. We are hoping that by 1st of July of this year, it will have fully come into force. Technical personnel charged with driving the agenda of the EAC integration within partner states are also confident that the threshold of trade and commerce are widening for the population. On free movement of labor across the region, significant progress is being made to the advantage of all states Uganda inclusive. We are now in the process of uh, ensuring that professionals move across the region. Oh, they are concluding what we call MRAs, Mutual Recognition Agreements, like engineers, doctors, lawyers. We are now in that process. For over a decade now, a host of aspirations were put forward under the revived East African community. It remains to be seen whether indeed most, if not all, this will be fulfilled sooner than later. In our 13-part series, we'll be bringing you more editions on the East African community. Reina Ogen, NTV.